said Shiraz, Shiraz. You see what I did there? You know, whatever will be, will be. But I put a twist on it this Wine Down Wednesday. We're hanging out with local wine blogger Megan Greco. Welcome. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. And tomorrow is actually Na International Shiraz Day. Woo. What does that even mean? What is a Shiraz? So a Shiraz, so a lot of people are familiar with the word Syrah. So mm -hmm. Syrah is a grape and it's one of the most highly recognizable grapes in the world and really it's dry it's bold and it has high medium high tannins Ooh, but what okay. we but Shiraz is actually what we refer to it when it comes from the country of Aust Australia oh yes. I had no idea you're teaching me a thing yes <laughs> yeah so it's something that it's a grape that is very highly influenced by the climate so when it comes from Australia it's gonna be bold it's gonna have ripe fruit flavors it's gonna be high in alcohol contact content. <laughs> it's going to have a lot of peppery notes. Wait, it's going to be peppery? Yeah, it's oh, really good. Okay. I know. But so if it comes from a different cl climate, like a new world country like France, France, <laughs> I said France, France, France um, really it's going to have a little bit more structure and a little bit more earthiness to okay, it. So okay. it's going to depend on where you get the wine from. Do you have a favorite? Do you prefer the Syrah or do you prefer the Syrah? So it's going to be totally on what I'm eating that okay. day. So Shiraz is going to be more fruit forward. So if I'm eating more like barbecue or like roasted meats mm. or pizzas. Or just bring all those flavors yes, up. Yes, yeah, yeah. But if I want just a good drinking red wine, I'm going to go for a Syrah from France. Nice. Okay, now you mentioned a few of those items. What are some other ways that we can pair these Shirazes yes. to bring forward all those fun flavors? Well, do you like bacon? Um, who doesn't? <laughs> I love bacon. You're it, making me crazy. Come it, on. <laughs> it pairs beautifully with bacon mm. and pizza, mushrooms, you know, a bunch of roasted meats and barbecue. Oh, so good. I know. But one fun fact about Shiraz is that it's kind of known as the world's healthiest wine. Wait, what? So you're telling me I can drink this <laughs> wine and it actually be good for me? I mean, maybe, maybe. <laughs> because the skins of it are so dark, mm -hmm. it is very full of antioxidants. So they say it's one of the healthier, okay. healthier well, wines. Well, I'm protecting my body. I'm making, you know, good decisions. <laughs> Wine full decisions, you know, uh -huh. you know, making it, making, <laughs> making it with that glass of wine. I know. What are some of the bottles that you brought in? Yeah, so today? these are some wonderful bottles here. If you, uh, one of our first segments we've ever done, we talked about this Molly Duker. Now this is cool. This is how a does this work? So this is a fun one because. Um, the, so what? So this one, you ba actually have to turn it upside down mm -hmm. to get the air and to get it to aerate, and then it's a wonderful wine. That is amazing. I know. Who knew? So you just have to turn it over. Turn it over. How long do you, do you shake it too? You, yes, you do okay. shake it. You remember? It's called the Molly, Molly Duker Molly shake. Duker shake, and it aerates the wine. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what it's known for. It's a great Australian wine. That is nice. It's one of my favorites. Okay, we're yeah. gonna have to add this to the list. What about this one right here? Yeah. So this is from Barossa. This is a wonderful Shiraz. This is going to be an age worthy. Ooh, yeah, so this is one that you can keep okay, in the cellar okay. for a little bit. It's very fruit forward. It's delicious, high in tannins, a great wine. Oh my gosh, yes. I love that. And yes. then what about this one, last but certainly not least? Yes, so this is also a, from the Barossa County. It is amazing. It has a lot of peppery notes, some earthy, olive -y tones Ooh, to it. Ooh, that's probably good. Yeah, and a very, it's very fruit forward as well. So what would you pair with this one, since it is kind of olive -y and bold? So I would pair it with something you know, with similar profile, so maybe like a mushroom risotto. Mmm, so <laughs> you're making me hungry. Every day at 12 o'clock, I'm hungry, and I can't wait to eat after the I show. I know, you got a lot of good stuff I know, here. now I have some <laughs> wine to get ready for International Shiraz Day. How are you gonna celebrate? Um, I'm gonna celebrate by pouring a glass of wine. Well, cheers. <laughs> we need some wine glasses. Well, we'll do that after the show. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll absolutely do that after the show. And Megan, your love and your passion for wine is really what got your blog started. Yes. I mean, how is that going? How cool is it to have seen the growth of your social media oh, pages and you. of your blog? You know, I love it. I Every opportunity I can have to experience more wine, you know, the traditions, the people, the hands, you know, that are touching and making this wine has just been all worth 
you know, all the hard work and research I've done. Well, we're wine. proud of you, girl. Yeah. And St. Louis, you know, if they pour it, if you pour it, they will come. And that's the name of her blog. You can find so many incredible recipes on her Facebook, on her Instagram, on her TikTok. And we'll make sure that you have access to all of that information. We'll post it on our website at studiostl.tv. Megan and I are going to go um, enjoy Green. this Molly Woo. Duker. Let's shake it up. Shake it up, exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us on this Wind Down Wednesday, and we hope to see you guys tomorrow at noon. We'll see you right back here on Fox 2 News.